despite Kanye's staunch vow of silence and adamant absence from all forms of social media, it has become increasingly apparent over the past few days that something huge is about to happen, with plenty of small developments occurring right under our noses. I love Leaky! So while we are still waiting for Kanye to actually make some big moves publicly, we of course are constantly catching him pulling off very small things that can definitely be attributed to a larger plan in the making. Over the past few days, Kanye's been relentlessly fucking with his Yeezy.com website, adding and removing new pages, suggesting that the site is going to be used for quite a lot more in the future besides just being a glorified Shopify hub. We previously saw backend pages added for content, sound, food, and shelter, showing that he was very much focusing his time and energy into things like food and housing that I honestly thought were not going to get revisited. Just a few hours ago, we saw a new development in the same vein, with the sound page first being updated with text that said wave, and then being removed after two minutes to be replaced with yeezy.com slash pages slash wave. Now, before this, the sound and content pages were both blank blank and this wave page is also blank. So my personal theory is that the food and shelter ones had the in progress text because they were farther away from being actually utilized. Kanye already has things on Yeezy.com that could be transferred into the sound slash wave and content pages. So in my opinion, I think we're going to see those up and running with an actual purpose way sooner. Another interesting change that has recently occurred to the website is that the domain Yeezy.app actually now redirects to Yeezy.com, showing that they did purchase the app domain and had plans to use it. Obviously, Kanye does still own the Yeezy.app domain, so it's not out of the question for him to change his mind and go back to a plan utilizing the app alongside the main Yeezy.com. In other news, we got a small update to the Vultures era reference artists, with it being revealed by Pop that 5 Yo Foreign actually recorded a track for either Hood Rat or Back To Me. A common misconception is that 5 Yo recorded his Hood Rat reference during his Without Warning documentary, but that is only thought to be the case because he was listening to an early Kanye vocal take for the song in the same clip. The iPhone voice memo he records is confirmed to not have been meant for Hood Rat, and to my knowledge, Back To Me wasn't born yet in April of 2023, so this reference must be for something we don't know about. Viral virus diseases, Jesus, Jesus, all that we needed, take all the givers, make them believe us. Additionally, we saw American comedian and actor DeRay Davis play a reference that he did for Back To Me in a club, which is kind of wild because we had no idea he even worked with Kanye. From what I can tell, DeRay Davis is more classically noteworthy for his comedic and acting work, but he has apparently dabbled in producing and songwriting, so perhaps there's other DeRay Vultures era references that we will hear about in the coming months. Along with that, I forgot to mention with yesterday's big info dump about Vulture's reference artists that Quentin Miller has done a bit more than just the Vulture's one songs. Along with his work done on Stars, Talking, Fuck Some, Beg Forgiveness, and Problematic, Quentin also recorded a reference track for the song Time Moving Slow. Vault Destroyer. Vault Destroyer. Vault Destroyer which we previously thought was done by Aerostar, who is actually responsible for Kanye's new finished verse on Fighting Fires, played at the Private Vultures 2 listening party. All I really meant for is you to get mentored before you get sentenced, before you get sent for. Remember the sentence, remember repentance. Only God can judge you, only Jesus is Lord. Over in Danville, Stateville, Taylorville, Lenard. All I really meant for is you to get mentored before we get sentenced. And finally, if you remember a few days ago, we actually got two brand new snippets about work Kanye and Uzi did in 2015 for the songs Hold Tight and Fade. Oh yeah. 
Girl, that pussy be amazing. I don't want you cause I think you're overrated. Luckily enough, these tracks did go up for sale for $3,000 combined, and that group buy is very close to completion, so within the next day or two, we should be getting more audio evidence of a rare Kanye and Uzi collab. As a bonus in this GB, we also got a brand new version of the song All I Know with just Weekend and the Dream vocals and new production from Carnage. Baby. All I Know was created on March 25th, 2016 between Kanye, The Weeknd, and The Dream and could have either been for Cruel Winter or The Weeknd's 2016 album Starboy with some wild production from Mike Dean, Cashmere Cat, Ben Billions, and The Weeknd. I don't give a fuck about a nigga talk about my bag. Nigga, that's entertainment. Ha ha, I laugh. Motherfucker come to my house. Ha ha ha, that nigga yo head. Motherfucker sign, 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 my sign, my sign, I don't pay no stab. All I know is fire, but I am really looking forward to these 2015 Kanye and Uzi tracks, so I'm super hyped to hear those when they finally leak. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and let me know down in the comments when you think Kanye will start using these new Yeezy.com pages.